Hi everyone, my name's Delina. Uh, I grew up in Levin and I grew up as a urban in an urban um, town, um, Māori, um, and I am single with three children, two are adults, and one is nearly seven. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Well, I was a unwanted child, um, and I was the result of a one night stand. And um, but God still uh, wanted me here, and here I am. Uh, <clears throat> so my mother, I I struggled to have a relationship with my mother growing up, and um, I still don't have a relationship with her. Um, I must pray for her though, because uh, that's what the Bible says, and the Bible says I must honour her. Um, but I choose not to have a relationship with someone who is narcissistically selfish. It's for my own well-being. So uh, I think my my nana was my my saving grace growing up because I, while I wasn't wanted or loved by my uh, mother, my nana loved me. And there were occasions where I would call her mum accidentally um, and she looked after me very well and um, I have um, a lot of gratitude towards my name who's passed on. Uh, I wouldn't describe this as being happy, but I'm such a scallywag and, and that's why I'm so thankful that God accepts us as we are. And uh, I just remember when I when I was 14 years old, before I left home, um, I went to live with my nan and I was a scallywag and I used to wag school. And one day I got lazy and I just told the teacher or the tutor, I wagged. Instead, I mean, I used to write out notes saying I was away uh, on, on behalf of my nan. Um, and I'm not proud of that, but I'm just thankful that God accepts us as we as we are. I I think um, it's not perfect, but I parented my children the opposite to how I was parented. So I was left to my own devices uh, growing up because um, I was neglected um, and there was no uh, discipline or nowhere near as enough, enough discipline, love and dis discipline that it takes to uh, raise a resilient child um, and I can be quite strict on the girls and uh, but I'm also loving um, and I'm a work in progress, really. Hi. I'm Ole. I'm Ole. Hi, my name's Katana Lena. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bless them. <laughs> uh, so. I came to the Lord when I was at rock bottom and I was in a very low place in my life where the only where was was to trust put my trust in the Lord and and grab onto him that's the only way I could put it um Okay. 
So I have a heart for for the black sheep, for the ones that have uh, missed out. Uh, whether that's missing out on the love of their parents or being neglected or uh, just not having a great start to life because I can relate to them so I I have a I, I have a huge desire to help people and I've just got to to watch myself that I'm wise about how I help people um, but yes that's me uh, you kind of act like a magnet <laughs> um, when you've gone through what you've gone through um, God will just put people on your pathway you don't even have to go looking for them um, they're there they're all around um, and if your heart and your eyes are open you'll see them cool. so there's no time frame um, although I do feel that because we're in in the end times that time is of the essence and I do believe God calls us to be wise with our time I can't say that I have been perfectly wise with my time because that would be a lie um, but perhaps if there was going to be any prayer for me it would be um, around time management and just keeping my life simple so that I make room for, for God. Awesome. I just believe that God calls us, He calls us all to do something differently. It, it might interlink. Um, Excuse that child in the background. Um, but yeah, just make time for God. If you put him first, everything else falls into place. Um, and that's my experience. Um, I don't do that 100% of the time, but I I am a work in progress. So, um, you know, give yourself some grace as well. Uh, but get back, get back to it. Make it a um, a point to put God first, and yeah, He'll make your your pathway straight. <laughs>